take a look at some of the 3D printing enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2017. If we go to the File menu, down to Print 3D, we've got some awesome tools to help us visualize what's going on in our build volume. We've got the ability to define the width, depth, and height of our build envelope. We've even got the ability to define a face that goes down at the bottom of our build envelope. We've got the ability to rotate the part around and see where it fits, or in this case, where it doesn't fit in the envelope. We can orient things and try to fit them back in our space. We've got the ability to scale things up or down, control different print properties like job quality and, and percentage fill. We've even got the ability to switch over to the preview tab, show faces that require support material. So we've got some green highlighted faces on the bottom. We've even got the ability to show the part as transparent so that makes it easier to see you know faces like this green face at the bottom of the counterboard hole where it's going to need support material. We can come in and show striation lines so based on the 10,000th slice of our part we can see a basically a bitmap image overlaid on the part. We've got the ability to run a thickness and gap analysis on our part so based on the material based on our, our wall thickness we can hit the calculate button. The orange arrows are thin walls in the model and the blue areas are possible thin gaps in the model. So the blue arrows here, you know, do we really want that little gap there? And also looking at most of the ribs in the part, you know, how do they compare to the 040 wall thickness uh, that we've specified? Uh, the thickness of this rib is actually in the 0.0357 inch range, so a little bit below the, the minimum wall thickness that we've defined. If we flip back over to the settings tab and scroll all the way to the bottom, we've got the ability to save a file out. We can save an STL file out, that's a file we've used for years in the 3D printing industry. We've got the additive manufacturing file, the .amf file that was added a few years ago. And now we've got the 3D manufacturing format, the .3mf. The 3MF is a, the latest 3D printing format. It's a high fidelity model. It can even hold build direction, material information, and color information. So Windows 10 actually has some interesting support for the 3MF file. So if we go to our start menu and type in 3D, we've got a 3D builder. We've actually got the ability to uh, bring that 3MF file into uh, this app and look at you know build orientation, define material. We've even got the ability to add additional geometry and look at different things we can do with the model. Smooth it down, emboss it, etc. We've even got the ability to come in and access 3D printing services. Maybe connect with someone who can print our parts for you. Now at Go Engineer, we do sell the printers, but we also offer a 3D printing service to get people hooked. Uh, so if you need more information on that, you can email goparts at goengineer.com and we can try to help you out. If not, we may be able to connect you with someone who can. So these are some of the new enhancements with 3D printing in SOLIDWORKS 2017. So bringing your designs to life has gotten a lot easier and faster with these enhancements. So go out and play with them and have some fun.